In this video we will talk about using loops inside a data blend. Loops are useful when you have a list of data and you want to process each of the items individually. For example, let's retrieve some contacts from HubSpot. I will set the maximum to 5 because we're only testing. First I will save my data blend and I can now run this. As you can see, we are receiving a list of records or items from HubSpot. Next, I can add a loop block that will loop over the individual items in a list. As you can see, the loop block is now connected to the output of list contacts, which means that it will loop over each of the items from the list of HubSpot. Inside the loop we can add blocks that will handle individual items. For example, I can add a block that will retrieve more details from a contact based on its ID. I need to map the ID to the item inside the loop. So I will click inside the ID field, I will reference the item in loop and next I need to do a test run to retrieve some example data. So now I can see one item inside the loop which is as expected one record or one contact from HubSpot. And what we actually need is the ID of this contact because the ID will be the input of the block get contact by ID. So this is now done. When I now run the data blend again we can see that the block get contact by ID was actually called five times one two three four five times and each time it has processed one contact from the list. So this is the output of the block get contact by ID. Thank you.